welcome back to another video of master IV fluid course and today we're going to talk about low urine output from IV fluid perspective because I really wanted to give it in a separate topic a separate video but one of the treatment of low urine output is fluid as probably all of you know now low urine output is a very common question you will receive while you're covering patients whether on the floor or specifically much more in ICU because most of these patients have fully catheters right and that's when nurses mainly calculating their urine output normal urine output is defined as 0.5 to 1 mL per kg per hour so when you ever get called about low urine output by the nurse the first thing you do is verify is it really low or is it just subjective feeling by the nurse so basically if she will call you hey the urine output has dropped over the last few hours averaging or it's been like 20 mL per hour so you do your calculation based on the weight and don't take one measurements just one hour so the second thing while verifying you need to see the trend over at least two to four hours just to make sure it's really low and the third thing before I jump and give any orders making sure is the fully is not kinked right and it's patent so tell them is the fully catheter is okay uh, is it flushable no problem no resistance so once I make sure that there is really legit urine output then i start thinking low urine output is related mainly to decrease effective volume being delivered to the kidney of course here we're not talking about all causes of acute kidney injury but because simply this patients could be having interstitial nephritis or you know there is a long list of acute kidney injuries but I'm talking about how to manage this in the floor when you get called also not necessarily low urine output let's say you does not mean always AKI acute kidney injury so this is could be wrong you could have normal kidney function and low urine output especially if it's temporary or transit that's why you need to act on it to prevent the progression to AKI, right? Because the kidney is very sensitive to volume. Now you made sure it's low. The trend is low, right? Now we're trying to see what's the cause of the decreased effective volume that being delivered to the kidney. Is it volume depletion or volume overload, which means what I mean here is that the volume mainly in the interstitium, right? Not intravascular. Like somebody with heart failure, for example, or liver cirrhosis, most of and has a lot of edema. So looks volume overloaded, but the effective circulatory volume is low because this is mainly interstitium. As you see here, the treatment is different depends what you're treating i'll stop here i want to i don't want to make the video long i'll tell you how to assess these two things and how to act on them next video thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board